If you're a singer who sometimes struggles with frustration, this video is for you. It is absolutely normal to come to this point every once in a while to where you get really frustrated either with yourself or with a process, with a voice. Maybe you don't reach the goals that you wanted to. Maybe it's not, you're not making the progress that you wish you would make. But here's the thing. Number one, give yourself grace. You are a human being. So there are limitations. Expecting something that is maybe not realistic or just not acknowledging all the things that go on in your life can definitely lead to frustration. So give yourself grace. I've had to give myself a lot of grace as a mother and performer and trying to run a business. And there are mistakes happening all the time. But you know what? I give myself grace. I tell myself, you know what? I am doing my best with what I have right now. I use what I have at my disposal, all the tools that I have, all the resources that I have, and there's nothing more I can do. As long as you know you did what you could, and even if you didn't do all the things you could have done, give yourself grace. If this is the past. Don't beat yourself up over it and don't be frustrated. You can get better in the future. You can change things in the future. You cannot change your past. And then ask yourself, who you truly are. What is your true identity? Who am I as a singer? Who am I as a performer? Who do I want to be? And maybe you have that expectation of yourself that does not reflect who you really are. So for example, I always had this imposter syndrome thing and I wanted to sing those big arias when I was an opera singer. So I always thought a real opera singer has this big voice. This is what a lot of people think, right? And because I wanted to meet that expectation, I sometimes beat myself up because I felt like, oh, maybe I don't have this real voice. The truth is, as a soubrette, there are many roles. And soubrette is a voice type that is needed in opera. And soubrettes don't have a gigantic, heavy voice. They have a light and agile voice. And that's just what I am. And instead of beating myself up, I came really clear about the fact this is who I am. This is my identity. These are the qualities that are amazing about my voice. And that is the beauty, the lightness, the youthful sound, the agility that I have. Um, and it is that very quality of being lighter that is actually making it special. So don't beat yourself up. And be okay with being the person that you are and having the voice that you do have. Don't wish for something else. Be authentic. And that's the only way you're ever going to be happy with your voice. And the next thing is, oh, ask yourself, what are your goals? You have to actually set goals. If you are frustrated, it might be because you don't have any clear definition of what is your actual goal. You have to have a goal that can be measured. You can't measure I want to be a great singer. What does what makes a great singer? It could be very subjective, right? It's very subjective. It's not objective. There's not any description you can give it like, this is what makes a good singer. Yes, singing on pitch is certainly one really important aspect. It's definitely something we always need to work on if you are not really great about it. But what is the actual goal? You can set a goal and say, I want to master to sing the D5 and belt it and not slip into my full head voice in this song. This is something very measurable and you either, it's a yeah, yes or no question. Did I do it or not? And that will make you feel like you had success and like you're getting somewhere. Did I reach my goal? Yes or no. So set those type of goals and then ask yourself, what is the action that you can take to reach that goal? So example, if you wanted to reach that D5 and not slip into head voice, I need to extend the range of my chest voice. I need to do daily exercises with breathing and support and extending my register in order to strengthen the muscles. I need to maybe practice the transition and the mix to where I lighten up toward the top. I don't get too heavy. I need to be more aware of the laryngeal tilt and practice exercises where I transition seamlessly back and forth and control those muscles better. These are actions you can take every single day that will make you feel like you have accomplished something. You have taken steps toward reaching that goal to where you feel like you succeeded. And then you want to measure the tasks that you've taken, not the outcome, not the, not the end goal. Like really in singing, there is no end goal. The end goal is always to continue improving, to continue growing, which you will 
definitely do as long as you take action steps that are relevant. So measure the actions. If you take an action every single day and you say, okay, today I have done exercise X, Y, Z. And today I practiced the passage from this song. I didn't just mindlessly sing through the song, but I was very intentional and actually addressed the thing that was difficult. And I have a feeling like I have a better grasp of things or I've worked on memorizing something. That is an action step that you can measure and then check mark. It's like, check, did it. And then you've stopped that frustration cycle of that wishy-washy label of, oh, I'm just horrible or I'm just not getting better. That is so broad. That is so general. It's generic. You need to have something very specific. And the action steps, that's easy. You can check them off your list. And as long as you take action steps that are relevant, that will contribute to the end outcome. It's almost like there is no way around it. If you take specific actions, they will lead eventually to a very specific outcome if you're doing it right. And then lastly, you need to enjoy the process. It's all about the journey. It's never really about, you know, we all know this. You get to a goal and then you set the next goal. And then you get to that goal and then you next you set the next goal. It's never going to be to where you get anywhere to where you're completely happy and this is all you ever want. Happy, yes, but there's always room for growth. And especially as an artist, there's never this point that you will ever arrive and be like, this is enough. I am perfect now and I will never have to learn another thing. Every artist, every single artist, it doesn't matter what space, whether it's music or performing arts, dancers, or even fine arts, you know, painter, there's always an, an evolution and you will continue to evolve as an artist. So enjoy the process. Enjoy reinventing yourself and finding new aspects of your art. If you want to receive more insights into the world of singing, I share every single Sunday in my free newsletter, Pitch Perfect Insights, all the things that have to do with singing. I just share whatever comes to my mind. So you can subscribe to that newsletter. I will put the link below. Be blessed. Have a wonderful day. Always keep on singing and always keep a song in your heart. Mm -hmm.